Hey everybody, it's time to check out the comic block for August 2015. My name's Jake Elliott. I'm the co-host of a podcast called Pop Culture Leftovers. We're a podcast about movies, TV shows, comic books, video games, all kinds of geeky things. Find us on iTunes, find us on Stitcher, wherever you find podcasts, you can find us. Just search for us. We're Pop Culture Leftovers. Now, when I open this comic block, I'm going to rate each individual item the same way we do it on the show. I'm either going to toss it, which means I don't like it, I'm going to taste it, which means I think it's okay, or I'm going to Tupperware it, which means I absolutely love it. So, all right, let's uh, check out this comic block. Now, I know absolutely zero spoilers about this comic block. I don't know what the theme is, so this whole thing is just going to be a surprise. So, let's see what's going on in here. I'll give you guys the first look like I always do. Da 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 da. And let's see what's going on. Now, right off the bat, we've got our t-shirt. Let's see what our t-shirt is for the month. Oh, I am loving this shirt. It looks like a Spider Gwen shirt. Now, I am not well versed in the most recent comics, so I didn't know Spider Gwen had like a Venom-like face going on. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on though. It's like Spider Gwen something. Um, I'm a huge Spider-Man fan. Spider-Man's my favorite character. So I am going to Tupperware this shirt. I will definitely be wearing it. I like it that it's like a white on black Spider-Man shirt too, or a black on white, I guess I should say. Yeah, that's really nice. I really like that shirt. There's even a 10% uh, on shirt punch code. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's see what comic books we got this month. We've got DC Comics Bombshells, number one. Looks like all the DC Comics big women players. We got Wonder Woman and Power Girl and uh, Batwoman on the cover there, it looks like. I'll show you a little bit of this art so you can check it out. I'll taste this comic. Looks like they're playing baseball this issue. It's always fun when comic characters play baseball. So yeah, I will definitely taste this comic. It's a comic that I will give a quick read to. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, let's see what the next comic is. It looks like we have Red Sonia and Conan, Dark Horse Comics issue number one. I will, uh, I will taste this as well. I have actually never once read a Red Sonia or Conan comic book. So this will give me a chance to check it out. I've heard a lot of good things from a lot of people about these books. So pretty nice art too. So yeah, definitely, definitely a taste it. All right, so we're, we're doing okay at Tupperware and two taste it's. And let's see what the third and final comic book is. And it looks like X-Files season 11, number one. Now this I will actually Tupperware. I am a giant X-Files fan. I've been wanting to check out some of these X-Files comic books. I know X-Files went nine seasons and they did season 10 entirely in comic form and now they are starting season 11 entirely in comic form. So I might check this out and if it's something I really like, I may actually go back and uh, buy the uh, trades for X-Files season 10. Oh, I really like the uh, colors in this book real X-Files tones to it, dark and shadowy. So yeah, that's pretty nice. I will Tupperware that comic. And then last but not least, we have the accessory for the month. And Heart and Brain by the Awkward Yeti, like a little comic strip, like one sheet thing there. That's kind of neat. I'll give that a taste it. That might be something neat to like hang up in the closet or like put up at work or something. So yeah, pretty neat. I think all in all, that was a pretty good comic block. Here's the uh, thing. It looks like that shirt was Spider Gwenum. So I was right. It's a cross between Spider Gwen and Venom. So I knew what was up there. So yeah, let's check it all out. We got the uh, little one sheet here. We got the Spider Gwenum shirt. We got the X-Files book, we got the Red Sonia book, and we got the DC Bombshells book. So yeah, all in all, pretty good comic block. All right, everyone, thanks for uh, checking out my video. I'm gonna keep making more videos, so keep watching them. Bye.